This is George from Pure Motion, and today I'm going to show you how we load the uppercut uh, movement pattern with the Omega. Let's go at it. So guys, how many times you've been on the, on the cage and you perform a lot of this uppercut type movement, either to actually throw a punch or, you know, in that clinch uh, uh, motion or that, in that clinch position? How do you load that in the weight room? I'm not trying to replicate those movements, but I'm trying to strengthen the musculature in that direction. Well, it's very simple. You can use a line of mine, we call it Renegade, a barbell, and the Omega. This is the trick, okay? You slide it through the sleeve here. The stance, I mean, basically the Omega stands in this, in this orientation. You're gonna have a, a wide stance, but even though you can't see it, the weight, my weight, body weight distribution favors the ball of my feet, okay? My heels barely touching. Overhand grip, monkey grip. I'm gonna lean slightly forward, but I'm not touching the Omega. I'm barely, barely touching it. And then from here, I'm gonna perform a lateral circle orbit by pulling with my left, pushing with my right. Shoulder, hip, back foot is gonna turn 90, watch. Pull it with my left, push it with my right, shift my body weight slightly back, and I finish when my lower arm is about parallel to the ground. And then I come back and repeat. And I can burn with you know, 5, 10, 15 reps left side, and then come to the right side. Or you can go one side, other side. But notice that I commit a 90 degree turn this way and then this way. The sharp bite are on your oblique and the rib muscles all the time. But because I keep myself in a wide stance, also my hips get activated. Okay, By opening and closing the hips, not only I'm strengthening some, but I'm stretching it as well. It's all inclusive. Okay, one more time. I'm here, I lean forward, body weight on the ball of my feet, push, uh, pull, push, lean back. Watch my back foot. It's turned 90 where all my toes are pointing the direction I'm turning into. I'm gonna bring it down by pulling the brake slowly, change the other side. All right, again, I'm working different circled orbits that as a fighter, as you are, you perform portions of those orbits all the time. The idea is to strengthen all these orbits so you leave no gaps, okay? I said it before, if you're going to a fight, if your fighter has narrow hips, easy night. If your fighter has thick hip all around, you're gonna be you're gonna be there for a long night. But you don't wanna be you wanna be that guy. And I'm just showing you how you can do it with very simple tools. Alright? I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please send us a comment. Fight camp conditioning Corey, we'll be happy to answer it. Or you know, we are able to answer as well. Thank you.